Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. For today, I wanna to get into how to use the TMPE Traffic Manager mod in City Skylines. Let's get started. So the very first thing I wanna get into is how do you find the mod? Well, first and foremost, this City Skylines mod is found in the City Skylines Steam Workshop. I will place a screenshot of what the mod looks like and what to look for when you're downloading off the Steam Workshop. Now let's dig into this mod. So once you've downloaded the TMPE Traffic Manager, you're gonna see at the bottom of your toolbar is this lovely street light with a king sign. I think that is a king sign. Anyways, if you scroll over it, you'll see that you can, you can toggle the TMPE Traffic Manager main menu. You can also press shift plus and semicolon I don't know anybody who does that, but let's click it. So on the screen in front of you, you can see that we have the most recent TMPE traffic manager mod updated. It is 11.7.3.1 and it is stable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each of these one, two, three, four, five, six, each of these 12 different TMPE options. Let's get started. So from going left to right, we have our first option, toggle traffic lights. This is a very basic mod. What we'll do is we will click on it. And then what we'll do is we will zoom in as close as possible. And what we'll do is basically this turns traffic lights on and off. And as you can see, it is a, it's dark. That means it, the traffic light is off. And then when you click on it, you could see that traffic lights are created and they will start working in the intersection. So again, I will just turn it off real quick and you can see traffic lights gone, traffic lights on, let's keep going. So if we keep going further down, we have time traffic lights and what you do is you can activate them through the mod itself and then you have these other options. You can deselect nodes and you could set up a timed light. I This is not a traffic manager mod where I'm going to go in depth on time traffic lights, but I'm just saying that will give you that option. So if you want time traffic lights, you can, you can figure that out on your own. I really don't know much about it. Let's keep going. So for the third option, we have manual traffic lights. So you click on the manual traffic light option and you click on the intersection. And it, as you can see over here, we can control a few different options. So we have a counter, so that is the countdown of the actual street light itself. We can control if the if we want pedestrians going across during a red light, and then you can change different modes. So let's say you wanted a light, a left-hand turn light. So what you could do is you can change that and you, you can have a green light and it'll just have a left-hand turn signal. So again, I'm not gonna completely mess with these mods. I'm just showing you what the TMPE traffic manager mod can do, but overall, it's a very, very cool tool. Okay guys, so for our fourth one, it's called Lane Connector and what it does is, well, exactly what it says. So what you could do is say if you wanted, see this traffic and they're going over into this lane into our industrial area, if you only want them to stay in that lane, they will be forced to stay in the lane. Now, another thing that could pop up, you just saw that bus go right. Well, what if we didn't want any of that bus traffic to go into our industrial area what we're doing right now is we are controlling the different lane management and what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that the overall roundabout like you can see as i zoom out the overall roundabout is just maintaining its traffic flow so like for example see this green dot and you can see that a lot of our traffic is coming from the middle and going over and slowing down that third lane. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that traffic into this lane only. So then this way, our roundabout traffic flow keeps flowing. And this way there's no cars bumping into each other. So this is called lane connector. I think this is probably one of the most important parts of the TMPE traffic manager mod. Let's keep going. So guys, for our fifth part of this TMPE traffic manager mod, it is lane arrows. And what we'll do is I'm gonna try to zoom in as close as possible. So right now you can see we have a three lane roundabout on the screen. So lane three is our lane to the absolute right. And lane three can only go straight and it can only go to the right. 
and which is fine for the roundabout which is perfectly fine lane two can only go straight and lane one can only go straight so this is another version of the lane connector mod except um you're just using the arrows i guess i, I guess they're very similar um i'm not really sure why they're both in tmpe traffic manager but you know again it's just another way to manage your lanes in city skylines so for the sixth one this one's a little bit different it is toggle automatic vehicle despawning and it's currently enabled whenever you start the tmp traffic manager it will always be enabled but what you can do is you can have it on easy mode or you can turn it off on hard mode and create bigger traffic jams essentially what this part of the mod does is if you do have a massive traffic jam kind of like in this area in my industrial district some of the cars will automatically despawn so that it's not a cluster so essentially, um, you know, if you want, you know, Biff I know plays on hard mode. If you want all the traffic hit despawning, it makes the game a lot harder. I just leave it automatically enabled. To be honest with you, with my How to Play Sage Skyline series, I had no idea it was actually activated. But let's keep going. We have six more to go. So halfway through the TMPE Traffic Manager mod tutorial, let's keep going. So for the seventh one, you can come over here to priority signs. So let's say you don't want a traffic light, but what you could do is click on the priority signs and click the intersection. So now that I zoomed in a little bit, you can kind of make traffic the way you want to go. You want it, you can have it flow, I should say, the way you want it. So this orange sign is a give way sign. So that means traffic is just going to keep going through and it's really not going to stop. And then the yield signs. So the yield signs are the red signs here. They will make sure that if there's cars passing through, like right there, they're going to let the traffic passing through going from left to right. They'll let that traffic pass through before they try to go and make a move on to the adjacent street. So you can toggle that on and off. You can see the trash can. It, that means it's activated. If it's off, well, you can clearly see that, um, you know, if you click the trash can, you get rid of everything. And just by clicking on some of these signs, you can actually, oh, well, there's a stop sign. There's a stop. So you can make a four-way stop sign. You can make it, you know, give way. You can do whatever you want. This is really helpful if you have a couple busy side streets or even intersections. I believe if I, if I zoom out really fast, I believe some of my intersections actually have this. Uh, eh, apparently not. Okay. But anyways, you get the point. You can control the signs on the actual, you know, intersections themselves. Again, like let's say for this intersection, you want to make sure that the main road has all these giveaways and then you're going to have yields. So what you'll see is the blue truck is going to stop until he has an opening and clearly he does and traffic keeps flowing. So this is better than a street light in my opinion, but that's just, you know, just, just giving you how I feel about this mod. So let's go to number eight. So the eighth part of the TMPE traffic manager mod is the junction restrictions. And you're going to be like, what in the world is that? So if you click on it, and click the intersection we will zoom in and this is where you have really really good control of your city skyline traffic so if you go over some of these signs all right there is no u-turn so that is enabled where we don't want u-turns and we also have ones where we, we're not going to be crossing the intersections and then also this is the giveaway traffic to increase traffic flow and then at the bottom you can clearly see the crosswalks if you do get rid of the crosswalks you'll see that the crosswalk actually disappears so it's kind of cool um i think like these vehicle traffic giveaways is actually really good for two parts of this intersection and it's a really cool part of the mod especially like i do know that crosswalks do slow down traffic sometimes because cars will stop for it the um crossing you know pedestrians on the crosswalks so i feel like that is a really really good part so it's called junction restrictions so really cool part of the tmp traffic manager mod one of my favorites so for the ninth part of this really cool tmpe tutorial is if you click on it you can set the speeds of roads in your city so i'm going to zoom in just for an example i can i move this oh you can move this over okay so i'm going to move this over and move this over so on the screen in front of you you can see that there is a hundred so for this roundabout you can go 100 miles per hour i know that is not very realistic but for the highways i just set them to 100 miles an hour automatically um you could if you also want on this part of the speed limits part you can actually set it to kilometers so depending on where you're from i just clicked on it i hope it didn't break it 
and you could see that the speeds change over to kilometers. So let me change that back to miles per hour because that I'm in the United States and that's exactly what I'm used to. So I feel like this is really important, not necessarily on a roundabout, but if you have a straight part of your highway that cars can just turn and burn and they're really not going to, um, you know, just they're, they're really not going to bump into any major traffic. I think it's a really good idea to set the speed limits higher than what the city skylines default is. So let's keep going. We have three more parts of this TMP traffic manager mod. Let's keep going. Now for our 10th part of this tutorial is we're going to get into vehicle restrictions. So what I'll do is I will click on it and then I will click on this blue road. So you have these four options. So you have an option for each of these roads because it, well, it is a four way street. So let's say hypothetically, you did not want buses. So let me just go through this. You have cars, buses. I believe this is a taxi, garbage, recycling, and your emergency vehicles like your ambulances. So let's say in the middle, so you can see that, you know, if you, if you hover over part of the street or of the green icons, you could see that let's say in the middle, we didn't want any buses. Like we want to keep buses on the out, outside lanes only. Well, what you could do is you can click on that and now buses are illegal to go in the middle of the street. And so that's a pretty cool option, just controlling cars and what can come in and out of your city. Um, also, I guess if you don't have the city skylines, new promenades and plazas DLC, this is a way where you could just create a walkable traffic area. Um, obviously people won't be walking on your streets, but you know, just you could clear out all these cars and you have total control over it. So really cool option for option number 10. So for the 11th part of the city skylines tutorial is parking restrictions. So you click on the mod itself, the parking restrictions. And what you could do is you see this blue P and you're like, what in the world does that mean? Well, that means parking. And what you could do is if you click it, you could turn it off. So that means you turn off people parking on your street. It is illegal to park on your street. Another very basic mod, but if you want, if you're playing uh, City Skylines on a PC, you can just, what will happen is they'll move to the parking lots themselves. Let me see if I could find a good example of that. So you can see here, we have people in our parking lots, but if we enable street parking, some of those might disappear. Okay, you can see a one of them did. You can see it messed with our parking a little bit, but as you can see this mod, it just cleans up your traffic on your streets. And I think overall, you know, it can just help clean up your neighborhoods traffic wise and just make it overall look better. Like I said, you, it'll also force them to use the parking lots. Again, if you're on City Skylines PC, you want them to use your parking lots that you created. So now let's go to the very last and 12th TMP traffic manager mod that they have in place. So we're going to come over here. So you can see that we have traffic all the way around our city. Well, what this does is it clears it out completely so let's say you are in a jam and your city is just it, it just it has 10 percent traffic flow it's struggling what you could do is clear all the traffic so it gives you this warning are you sure you want to clear all the traffic you can say no but if you say yes every car is off your streets and your traffic will reset so if you ever want to see what your city looks like without moving traffic, well, that's exactly it. Now, obviously the cars will start to render again. Like you can see that our garbage trucks starting to re-render and everything will come back to life, but that is the automatic reset button. So it is called the clear traffic. So guys, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Did you like this tutorial? Did you like, do you like using this city skylines mod? Please let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great day.